Next up, we are going to be working on a push-up. Now, a push-up can be done in a variety of ways. You do not have to go right down to the floor and work on a push-up from the floor, but you can. You can start using the wall. This is a great place, especially if you have wrist issues. You can start your push-ups at a wall. You could also use your counter or a, the back of your sofa, something that's not gonna move as you put your weight through it. Today, I'm gonna come down and show you how to start from the floor. So again, you could do this at the wall, at a counter, back of a couch, something very uh, immobile so that it doesn't go out from under you. But for the push-up, we're gonna start from the knees. I'm on carpet, so I don't need any cushion, but you may want to put a, a yoga mat or double it so that it doesn't slide on you, or um, you could put a blanket, but if you're using a blanket, just know that it might if you're on a hard floor, it might slip for you. So the push-up, you come to your knees and let your hands just sort of support. They're a little bit wider than your shoulders, most likely. You can turn the fingers outward a little bit. I like to spread my fingers pretty wide here. And as you come down, you're gonna let those elbows go out. They're not gonna stay super close to your body and they're not gonna go directly out. It's somewhere in between as you lower your heart down towards the floor and then push and lift. Now, you might start with one, and that's okay. You can, a lot of people have difficulty with their wrists when they're first starting with the push-ups. That's why the, the starting at the wall might be a nice way to get those wrists ready. And then, again, hands are comfortably placed in front of the line of the shoulder so that as you come down, your wrists and your elbows and your shoulders feel comfortable, and then you push up. Now what we're trying to do is not get the bum too high up in the air, and we're trying not to do the inchworm. But if you do need to do the inchworm, maybe it's a good thing to put um, a couple blankets under you or a bolster so you bring the floor up to you a little bit in order to progress. All right, so push-up, great way to strengthen forearms, shoulders, work your core, and also get mobility in your wrist and strength in your hands. I hope you like it.